Thursday morning, everyone. I hope this is finding you well and living your very best life in Jesus Christ. Well, as I said yesterday, I've been working my way through this Easter week, reminding us of the importance of remembering the events of Jesus' walk to the cross and the lessons he wanted us to take from these events and apply to our own lives. Today, Jesus reminds us of the greatness of his love for us and his willingness to sacrifice for us. Monday Thursday, which, uh, well, it's, we call it Holy Thursday, is the day that Jesus gathered with the disciples in the upper room for their traditional Passover feast. But a lot more happened that fateful day. From Bethany, Jesus sent Peter and John ahead to the upper room in Jerusalem to make preparations for their Passover feast. And that evening after sunset, Jesus washed the feet of the disciples as they prepared to, you know, share in the Passover. By performing this act, this humble act of service, Jesus demonstrated by example how believers should love one another. Today, as in the church that I grew up in, many churches practice foot washing ceremonies as a part of their Monday Thursday services. And by the way, the word Monday comes from the Latin word mandatum, which means command. It's a reminder that this is when Jesus gave us the commands. Holy Thursday is all about love, about how Jesus loves us and how we are supposed to love one another and show the world that love every day in every way. <clears throat> See, and then after that, Jesus shared the feast of Passover with his disciples, saying, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And by the way, that's Luke 22, 15 and 16. As the Lamb of God, Jesus was about to fulfill the meaning of Passover by giving his very body to be broken and his blood to be shed in sacrifice. And that frees us from sin and death. During the Last Supper, Jesus established the Lord's Supper or communion, instructing his followers to continually remember his sacrifice by sharing in the elements of bread and wine. On this day... The parade's over. The singing and joyous celebrating are now just a memory from Sunday. The palms are all cleaned up and the city of Jerusalem is quiet. Tonight, we get one last meal with Jesus. But before the action picks up in Gethsemane tomorrow, we get at least one more lesson from our Lord. He tells us to love each other. He's very specific about it. He doesn't just give it lip service. He gets down on his knees, pours water into a bowl, and washes the disciples' dusty feet. And by the way, their feet would have been pretty filthy. See, this is the love he speaks about. It's humble. It's lowly devotion to the ones you love. It's a love that carries absolutely no glamour. It's not romantic love. It's love that gains you nothing other than the sideways glances from others who would never do something like that that's beneath them. <clears throat> Jesus is showing us that love is costly, but more important, it's holy. How we love each other echoes in eternity. It's, it's how we identify ourselves as followers Christ, of Christ. It's a calling card, if you will, for the world. Scripture says people will know us by how we love each other. People will know. People will see where our hearts and our values are by how we fall to our knees and reach out in service to our neighbor. Our promise in Jesus' resurrection is firm and our call and identity are clear and we're identified in this way. So today, as we approach the weekend and we get ready for the celebration of Easter and the risen Savior, let us ponder whether we are truly filled with his love and willing to sacrifice for him and for others. I think we need to remind ourselves to strive to show his love in everything we do today, and always. Remember what I said on Tuesday. See, Jesus wants the real deal. So let our love be genuine so that we may shine a light on him, his love, and his sacrifice. I hope you make today a fantastic day. I want you to know that I'm here when you need me, and I love you all.